Hello guys, I'm going to teach you how to animate a UI button. The techniques can be used to actually animate anything, i.e. Uh, to animate uh, any image, UI image view, etc. So let's create a project uh, straight on. Uh, so uh, we're just going to create a single view application in, in Xcode. Do next, and I'm just going to name it like uh, head animation. Um, head, I usually I name my uh, class prefix uh, with the uh, first letters of each word of the project name. So let's just do next here. I'll just save it there anywhere for now. Right, so let's get right into it. First of all, I'm going to go to the storyboard uh, when it loads. And just for now, I'm just going to use the iPad storyboard. Uh, I'm not going to talk about um, the storyboards, etc. I'm just going to teach you the animation part. But quickly, let's just create a UI button. So, uh, actually, before that, we need the images because we're going to create a custom button with images. So, what I've done is actually downloaded nice uh, or an image from the internet. So, I've got two images. The idea is that uh, this image will represent a button and when a user clicks or presses on the button uh, the girl will close her eyes for a few seconds or for one second to be exact so let's just copy these images into our folder or into our project I'll just put them here anyhow, anywhere for now Yes, I want to copy the items into the destination groups folder and create groups for any other DI. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we're back at the storyboard. Drag a button. And for the button type, choose a custom button. And choose the image we've just added. Obviously, you can use any image you like. We're just using this for. Um, for the purpose of this tutorial also I want to remove the t button title so there's no title there okay and you just need to link it in our code so let's uh, go to our header file and create a UI button here UI button head There's something wrong here. What is wrong? Yeah, I forgot to make it a pointer. Property none to retain. I'm not going to explain this part of the code. Um, I mean, this is basic stuff. If you wanted to know more about property and synthesize, look it up on the internet. Let's create the IB action method, i.e., the method that is called when the user clicks on the button. So, selector M button head clicked. Okay, now let's go to our implementation file and synthesize the button. M button head. Let's create a method here. IB action M button head clicked. There you go. I love Xcode. Fills it all up for me. Right now, let, let's link that button from the story storyboard to our code. So what you need to do is go to the storyboard, click on this uh, show assistant editor button, and then what you need to do is basically drag that to the button yeah and if you actually look at the button's properties you will see the M button is linked to the view controller code and then we need to tell the button to use this method here when the user clicks on it so simply do the same thing you just drag it there and it nicely chose touch up inside yeah so let's just run this quickly and see what we've got so far. Okay, so we've got the button here. 
uh, a custom button which looks like an image doesn't look like a button at all and when you click on it nothing happens by the way we don't want this to happen i.e. when the user clicks on it we don't want this shadow to appear so to remove that shadow simply go back to the storyboard make sure the button is clicked and go to attributes expector and untick highlighted adjust image yeah now if you run that again if you click on the button the shadow will not show anymore there you go so let's animate this button now again I'm going to show you the animation techniques which you can use with anything not just a button it's very useful so let's go to the body of the method which is called when the button is clicked and for your information you can create animations a number of ways one way is to use animate with duration okay so for example um, I'll choose one with a completion option so let's say I want the animation to last five seconds yeah and I'm gonna set a new image for it basically the image with the uh, eyes closed ie this one here and to set the image for the button you simply call the button method set image I just need this one notice that I actually put the sender here because the button will come through as sender you can actually explicitly say set the uh, image for the M button head but uh, button head yeah or you can just do it like sender it doesn't make a difference it's the same so I'll just use sender here and then I'm gonna call my closing eyes image so image oops image named I'm not gonna explain the code again if there are any questions you have you can ask in the comment section or search in Google so I want to call the eyes closed picture and for the normal UI state of the button and then when the animation completes I want the image to be set back to the other to the open eyes one so I just need to rename this to open it's the code is complaining oh yeah for the completion part you need to make sure this is in bool finished okay let's build that and see if it builds okay without any issues there is an issue somewhere I think I need to yeah I need to put this before the boolean finished so let's cut that put it here build that okay now it builds okay but basically this is not going to work because I have tried it <laughs> i.e. the button unfortunately will flicker the animation will flicker the eyes will close very quickly and open again let me demonstrate have you noticed that did you notice that first flicker? There you go. See? So it's not working properly, i.e. the eyes is not closing for five seconds and then going back to being open. Uh, but I showed you this because this method is used a lot and it probably works better for uh, UI image view and other things. Also, I have searched for how to animate a UI button. A lot of people said to use this, but for me it didn't work, especially if you wanted to revert back to another image that's a problem if you didn't have this uh, or if you didn't want to revert to another image maybe it doesn't matter for example if I comment this out there and run it basically the eyes will stay closed yeah okay so let's show you the other method which also doesn't work but again it's important because it is used a lot and it's just for your information and basically this is what I've gone through in order to finally figure out how to do it properly so what you can do is use the um, begin animation method which is a property of uh, UI button, UI view, I think UI image view etc so UI button we want 
the animation duration to be five seconds. And we want to, to do it once. And here we want to commit the animation, i.e. to start the animation. Also we want the animation to reverse. Now this is the key thing. We want the eyes to open again after they're closed. So set animation auto reverse um, true. Extra bracket there, get rid of that. Okay, so here, semicolon, don't forget that. And here, we're just basically gonna copy this, i.e., set the eyes to close. Let's test this. One, two, three, four, five. Unfortunately, the animation doesn't auto reverse like you told it to. Again, this is just for information. I mean, this method is still useful to know, and is, you probably will use it to animate other things. But for your eye button, especially if you wanted to move uh, the image back to its original one, for me, it didn't work. So I'm just going to comment this out as well, again. Um, I've just shown you here for learning purposes. Now I'm going to show you the method that actually worked for me. For this method to work, you actually have to call the uh, button's name explicitly, i.e. you cannot put sender here and then use the image view property of the button and then the animation images not the animation repeat count, we will use that as well but let's use the animation images for now um, and then we're gonna use NS array array with object and one object for now UI image, oops image, uh, image named Give it the name of your image. Eyes closed for me. M button to the image view. Uh, animation duration. We want it to last for one second. M button head. View animation. Repeat count. And then finally, we want the animation to start, or we want to tell it to start animating here, because you can set the properties, but that won't actually kick off the animation. So let's test it now. Actually, this should be, I'm not sure, it should be an integer, I think, or float, I'm not sure, but let's just set it to that for now. So now if I click on this, she should close her eyes for a second and then reopen them. There you go. Do that one more time. Lovely. Notice this is the only method that worked for this, okay? Now I hope I saved you lots of time. If you're trying to do something like this or something similar, then I saved you the time of looking through the internet, trying this method and that method. Again, these are important methods also for animating. But for this particular task, this is the only way that actually worked for me. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Please subscribe and also download my app to support me. Draw me alive. Take care, guys.